Surprise, Beyonce dropped a new single on us. Plus, Miley, Demi, Shania. It is New Music Friday. Oh boy, how happy are you guys? It's Friday. Another week has gone by with three Kardashian pregnancies, no less. Thankfully, there is so much new music to talk about, not Kardashians, and the track that's got everyone buzzing is, of course, Beyonce's surprise new feature. B hopped on a J Balvin and Willie Williams hit, Mi Gente. It was a fire track before, but now it's engulfed. The remix has got me feeling a certain kind of way, people. Beyonce posted the new music video for the remix version and wrote that she's donating her proceeds from this song to hurricane and earthquake relief. But what's really cool, it seems like she's gotten her five-year-old daughter, Blue Ivy, involved. Listen closely because many fans are thinking this is Blue singing along. I still you with me. Did you hear it? Oh yes, I am. Probably out of tune, but it could be her. Queen Bee and her little girl also helped those impacted by flooding in her hometown of Houston. And now her and Jay-Z's streaming service title will donate proceeds from their upcoming Brooklyn concert to Disaster Relief. And I gotta say again, the Mi Gente remix is officially on repeat throughout the weekend, people. But will we see Beyonce popping by Saturday Night Live? Her husband Jay-Z will be performing this weekend during SNL's season 43 premiere. Fresh off an amazing season which earned the show nine Emmys, SNL is back with Ryan Gosling as host. This is his second time hosting and get this, this year the show will air live coast to coast. And let me remind you the last time Ryan was on he couldn't even keep a straight face during a sketch with Kate McKinnon so anything could happen. Alec Baldwin will also return to reprise his Emmy winning role as President Trump. We're told he won't have as many cameos this season due to scheduling. And our own Courtney Tezano recently chatted with longtime cast member Keenan Thompson on what else SNL has in store this season. How excited are you for this to come back, for SNL to come back? I'm super excited, man. Like, you know, Lauren never stops. Like, he's got Ryan Gosling and Jay-Z opening the season, you know what I'm saying? Like, season 43 is still going super duper strong with awesome artists and guests. It's just, it's amazing, man. That dude, he never stops. It's awesome. You guys are pulling out the big guns, it sounds like. For real. Big, big, big guns. <laughs> now, you know a lot going on in the world, it's in, in, in politics and pop culture. Have you ever thought about the next thing you want to tackle on Saturday Night Live that's uh, dealing with the political climate? Oh, I'm sure we're going to be doing some hurricane stuff, probably, and however they respond to it. Um, it just depends, man. Whatever is like going on, probably like that Friday night, we'll like write up for Saturday's show. Everything is just so last minute, but there's so many topics. And it was hard being off all summer, you know what I mean? So it'll be nice to get back to it. Once something crazy happens, we can just jump right on it. All right, so let me recap for you. We got SNL, Beyonce's Mi Gente remix, all setting us up for a solid weekend, but it's also New Music Friday, and the last of September's album releases just so happens to include three awesome butt-kicking women. Miley Cyrus has put her tongue back in her mouth and returned to her roots with her new record, Younger Now. The auto-tune is gone and her voice takes center stage. Here's one of my favorites off the album called Week Without You. If I spent a week without you Yo, Miley is stripping it back down, people. But giving her a run for her money is Demi Lovato, who is back with her sixth studio album, Tell Me You Love Me. It's chock full of those Demi bangers with the, of course, out of this world vocals. But you guys have to check out my favorite track, Ruin the Friendship. Let's ruin the friendship. Do all the things on our minds. What's taking us off this time? Let's ruin the friendship. Let's ruin the friendship. Ooh, I don't know which friendship she's trying to ruin. And E.T.'s Kelty Knight even tried to get it out of her. Ruin the friendship. Yes. Ooh, she's stomping in her boots right now. <laughs> um, tell me about that. So Ruin the Friendship is a song about um, 
having feelings for someone that you're really close with and you want to ruin that friendship by taking the next step. And it's never worth it, is it? That's always you a disaster. Know. You no. never know. Don't give them bad advice out there. Do not. <laughs> Stay in the friend Don't knock until you try it. Don't knock until you try it. Has it ever happened to you? I don't know. I don't really remember if it has. I mean, I think so. But, um, but yeah, this one's a really special song. Okay, she don't remember if it happened. All right, I'll leave it at that, Demi. And finally, Canadian queen of country bop Shania Twain is back with her first album in 15 years. Man, it feels like a lifetime. <laughs> I'll see myself out, but first, you gotta listen to Poor Me. Raise the color that I see. Still can't believe. All right, here's what Shania told ET's Nancy O'Dell about why it took so long to put out another record. Is it scary yeah. coming out after so many years? It was really scary getting started. You know, now that I'm here and I'm through making the project, making the record, now I feel really good and excited about it. I'm not afraid anymore, but oh boy, was I ever afraid to get started. It really took a lot of self-motivation and, you know, forcing myself through, so. I was pretty petrified in the beginning, and that, I think that's part of what took me so long as well. I was procrastinating, you know. Yeah, because yeah. of that being scared. Well, the voice was a big. I mean, I was, I was, I was afraid for good reason. I mean, I just didn't have my voice issues under control yet, and I was, um, you know, that was one big issue. There was a lot of fear there, just knowing whether I could rely on my voice or not, and if I wanted to really dive into it, you know, start committing myself, putting myself out there in front of people in the studio and just all of that. Well, you nailed it, Shania, and you guys clearly have plenty to choose from this weekend. Let us know who you are listening to on repeat. Miley, Demi, Shania, Beyonce, and of course, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, stick with etonline.com. I mean, just in case another Kardashian gets pregnant. All right, have a good weekend, guys. Bye.